welcome to another episode in our series, India Health Mission. In April, Apollo Hospitals released their annual Health of Nation report, which said that skyrocketing cases of cancer and other non-communicable diseases across the country have now made it the cancer capital of the world. The report says that the number of cancer cases is expected to rise at a rate that will surpass global averages. Another report from the Indian Council of Medical Research says that one in every nine persons in our country is at risk of developing cancer in his or her lifetime. Despite the high risk, cancer screening rates are abysmally low in India. Only about 1%. Looking for cancers much before any symptoms occur is called cancer screening. According to the World Health Organization, cancer screening can contribute to avoiding as many as 30 to 50% of cancer cases. So why isn't it more prevalent and what is its role in improving cancer outcomes? To discuss that, we are joined today by Dr. Pankaj Goyal, Senior Consultant Medical Oncology, Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Centre Rohini, Dr. Ankur Behel, Senior Director Medical Oncology, Fortis Memorial Research Institute, Guru Gram, Dr. Shashant Mittal, Director Action Cancer Hospital, and Dr. Bakulesh Khamar, Executive Director, Cadilla Pharmaceuticals. Dr. Goyal, let's start at the very beginning as practicing oncologists. Are you seeing a palpable rise in cancer cases and why do you think this is happening? I think uh, over the past one decade, I can see that the number of patients, uh, what we see are really increasing. And uh, just for the stance, if you see that over the past 10 years, you see how many uh, new cancer hospitals uh, are coming up. And still in another five years, we'll see they'll be, I think, doubling up. That is the quantum of uh, patients which we are getting, and I think uh, there are multiple reasons you talk about. Uh, like you talk about pollution, talk about our eating habits, talk about uh, whatever we are eating, whatever we are drinking. Uh, everything is uh, having some sort of uh, you know chemicals mixed in that I should say or maybe fertilizers. So all these factors are uh, adding up, and now more people are coming forward to get them investigated. They have symptoms. So number of cases have definitely increased over the past one decade and uh, we see further rise. And the only solution I think uh, what you are talking about is uh, that uh, timely screening. Uh, Dr. Mittal, what are some of the barriers when it comes to early, early cancer diagnosis and treatment in our country? So majority of the patients come very late to us. Yeah. They are either going for alternative treatment. Mm. They have myths among them that if they get the biopsy done, the cancer will spread or the relatives and the friends misguide them by hearsay stories about some other patient. So they don't come early to us and hence early stages we often miss and they come in later stages. So I think early stages here is critical, of course, screening also and immediately when you get to know, I think, I think what you're trying to say, Dr. Mittal, is like go to the doctor immediately and, you know, start what needs to be um, done. Dr. Bell, how does regular screening help in detecting cancer early and does it help in making treatment more manageable and less costly and what are the cancers commonly detected uh, through screenings? So, uh, of course, you said that uh, screening, uh, screening in our population is... Uh, we recommend, we all oncologists recommend, but, but the journal population is not getting the theme of it. So screening is not done in patients. It is done in a normal population. And, and people need to understand that early we detect, more cure rate we get. As Dr. Sushan said that 75 to 80% of a practice is stage four uh, of any cancer. But if you screen at right time in a right sex at a right time, age then you detect a very early say breast cancer or cervical cancer or a colon cancer or a lung cancer then the earlier you do the early stage you pick up and more cure you get so so uh, unfortunately the our country is living in a double standard mm. so so when we we blame that we have got stage four and we are not getting cured but we are not following the principles of screening a normal population should screen themselves for an early detection. And when it is early detected, you go to your nearest cancer center and get treated. So, so that's the right message. Please screen. All our mothers, sisters should be screened. All a high-risk population should be screened. Get early and get cured. That's a mantra for cancer. 
I think a very important message from here is that screening is not just for patients, it's for the population, you know, for the general people to go well in time and screen so that if it's detected, it could be treated. Dr. Kamar, people in India find cancer care to be inaccessible and unaffordable. Now, there is a need for Indian uh, pharma companies to produce cancer treatments and therapies that are affordable for a vast majority of patients. How does Cadilla respond to this need? So, let me clarify. Cancer care essentially revolves around intent to cure and intent to palliation. For intent to care, pharmaceutical industry does not have any role except some peripherally support system where you require some antibiotic, nutritional products, some fluids. Essentially, it involves surgery and or radiotherapy. There is no role for cancer therapy for intent to cure for majority of the cancer patients. Drugs used are mainly for palliative intent when the cancer has spread extensively and you want to prolong the life of a person. Now, in India, all generic products, including cancer products, are most inexpensive in the world. And this is true for even innovative products coming from multinational companies. Multinational companies also keep their price lowest in the India compared to the rest of the world. Then coming to the affordability for the Indian population, affordability is essentially related to the economical status of a patient, insurance company, government, and healthcare providers, which includes doctors, hospitals, and NGOs or charitable organizations. Government of India fixes the price for all the drugs and then it has started Ayushman Bharat, which covers majority of the cancer drugs as well as cancer treatment. So government of India is trying to make it affordable to those people. Now coming from India, I mean Kerala, what we are trying to do is, since innovative products are more expensive, we are trying to make innovative products, get it approved in India and sell it at a reasonably low price. And we can keep the price low compared to other companies or MNCs because we don't charge our development cost and cost of failure on approval of a product. So this is how we try to help the Indian population. Uh, Dr. Mittal, you know, we've been talking about why the screening is less and why is it important. So what explains this very low 1% figure for cancer screening and how do we create awareness around the need for it because we clearly know that it is critical. We need to tell the general population via various awareness campaign such as media, print media, interviews like this, at the grassroots level, in the various society talks, RWA talks, at school level, college level, where we can cater larger population, as well as the teachers and the students, elderly population in societies, wherever, wherever we get a chance to spread this message, even in our hospital, for the class four worker, for the technicians who are not in medical field but are associated with the hospital, we try and create awareness to them that screening is important and how it can be done. Simple blood test, ultrasound, mammography, pap smear, PSA test can help us to pick early stages. And that is all what we have been trying to do. Nevertheless, more and more awareness needs to be provided to the general population. Okay, thank you. At an economical cost. Yes, I mean, yeah, actually very important economical costs. And uh, Dr. Behel, just coming to you because Dr. Mittal told us the steps for awareness. But uh, Dr. Behel, what steps should the government take to make mass screenings more accessible for both urban and rural populations in India and also for, you know, uh, trained personnel like uh, Dr. Mittal was telling us about? So I think uh, uh, communication is the key here. So, so a normal population, a normal community, both in rural and in urban, in their state language, in their local language, should understand the importance. Once the community level worker, where it is an Anganwadi worker or a journal practitioner or a local physician or any doctor who is practicing in that district or in that state should understand and just reciprocate to the community that, that if you do this test, you will be cured of the disease. You will not get, you will get the disease in an early stage. So, so, so there have been literature and then experience in our rural district, the Bashi district has proven that 
the pap smear test, the local uh, cervical hygiene, and followed by the vaccines in Metro have clearly said that over the decades, over five decades, cervical cancer is a leader in this, uh, in, in this example, that if you screen well, your mortality will go down. Since independence are cervical cancer vaccination and pap smear examination and a local hygiene has clearly shown that if you do this, your mortality will decrease. So, so economic burden of a country can, like, can be tackled very well if we detect that disease in an early stage. And I would clearly say that communication between a healthcare worker and a local population is the key. If you synchronize it well, make them understand in the local language, not in a scientific language, then people will adopt screening. And if they don't adopt screening, do not make them eligible for an Ayushman or a Golden Card or a health insurance. So what, what Western population is doing, you have this, this is mandatory. If you do it, then only you're eligible for a next year. So if we make it like a norm, then people will follow it. At least if we can touch down 30% of our population, the mortality and the economic burden will go so much down in our country that we'll be able to treat many of them who have the disease rather than those who do not. So prevention is the key in cancer as compared to cardiovascular and any other disease. Yes, absolutely. We are talking about preventive screening and how that helps, you know, detect cancer early, which means better treatment and health outcomes. This is why it is crucial to get yourself regularly screened for cancer. You're watching India Health Mission. More questions for our doctors on the other side of a short break. So stay tuned. Welcome back, you're watching India Health Mission and we have our experts here here telling us the importance of screening well in time. Dr. Bell, this question is for you. How do I get a cancer screening test? Is it a part of any of the standard health checkup packages that hospitals and diagnostic centers offer? Because very often, uh, as general population, we don't know what steps one is supposed to take if you want to get a regular screening done. So, so you will be astonished to know that the National Cancer Control Program was way established 50 years back. So take an example, if, if I'm 50 and I'm a female, so I need to go for a breast screening, which is a mammography. I need to go for a cervical uh, a smear, which is called as a pap smear. So the breast cancer, the breast uh, cancer detection test, which is called as mammography, is available everywhere, every district of the country. The pap smear is the basic test which a gynecologist can do anywhere, anywhere in a local setup. And uh, if you are a smoker and you are willing to quit, so then uh, a low dose CT scan of the chest is need of an hour. India has not adopted till now, but I believe in one decade it will. If you are above 50 years old, if you are a male, do get your colonoscopy once in 10 years. And uh, other cancers like prostate cancer and all can be detected with a simple test. So the guidelines are made already. We just need to communicate age, sex and disease type. So just follow it. It's there everywhere. You Google it and you will get the screening guidelines. But the question is, please follow them. It's yeah. not revising guideline in our mind. Everybody who is not even educated or uneducated can hear these guidelines very well. Just adopt them and bring, bring down the burden of cancer in my country. That is what I want to say. I think a very critical point. Guidelines are there. Everything is in place. It's about, I think, spreading awareness, communicating and 50 years more. back, it was well established, National yes. Cancer Control Program. Yeah. And, and today we're the cancer capital. So clearly, you know, we need to start moving towards making a difference. And it's just screening. I think we need to start with that. Uh, Dr. Kamar, considering the rising incidence of cancer and what we've been discussing, how can public and private players come together to ramp up preventive screening? So first is uh, screening does not prevent the cancer. Screening helps you in early diagnosis of a cancer. At which stage it is amenable to surgery and it can be cured. So this is a basic premise which everybody should understand. And we as a country with the economic status in which we are for a large population, we should first focus on what is doable by us rather than uh, going by Western standard. Our number one killer is a head and neck cancer or oral cancer 
and it can be prevented by simple change in habits, which is a tobing, uh, chewing tobacco. We are not doing adequately for chewing tobacco. We are trying to tax cigarettes, which is smoking, but we are not doing significantly as a society or as a government or as an NGO to minimize chewing of tobacco and tobacco-related cancers. So our focus should be on a simpler measures like changing the social trends and habits of the individual, preventing or minimizing chewing of tobacco. Similarly, number two is a breast cancer. Breast cancer, I mean, mammography is around the world, but it is not within the reach of everybody. But that's a little higher level. But at a lower level is a self-examination by individual, which somebody can be trained and do on herself every month. And then periodic checkup by healthcare provider. In the current standard, may, even if you get diagnosis of a breast cancer where it is around one inch or 2.5 centimeter or two centimeter in size, it can still be cured by surgery. So it's not necessary that we have to diagnose a cancer at in situ. So this, according to me, is a cost-effective measure which can go a long way compared to what we are today. Similarly, number three cancer is a cervical cancer and it can be prevented by effective use of vaccines, HPV vaccine, which is not widely used in our country. So if you take care of this challenges by the suggestions I have made, all the three major cancers can be made less prevalent. Then the next point is uh, that uh, we can always identify who are high risk people, those who run in the families. So if your family members are affected by cancer, you should have a more regular checkup. So that will also help you in early diagnosis and cure of a cancer. For a male member, that's the next uh, high incidence cancer in our country, which is a prostate cancer. There's a simple thing. You get your prostate-specific antigen blood test done every year. And if it is found to be high, you undergo health checkup. And if required, if the diagnosis is right, then you undergo surgery. So these are some simple measures which can be easily ad adopted in our country. And uh, what we can do as a society is we can try to educate people around these simple measures and make something available at affordable cost by charitable organization, NGOs, and government. Say, for example, routine health checkup is not being done in our country. But if we establish routine health checkup and have a prostate-specific antigen test included, I mean, it will uh, reduce the number of prostate cancer uh, being dangerous at the time of diagnosis. The problem in India is cancers are diagnosed very late. It is not that uh, they are not diagnosed, but they are diagnosed very late. And when the cancers are diagnosed very late, there's only one option and that is a palliative intent. You can't cure the patient. You can't, a patient can't undergo surgery. Dr. Goya, last word to you. Many barriers can be overcome, uh, you know, structural awareness, cost. How do we overcome the social and cultural barriers that have to do with cultural norms? And, you know, sometimes, like you rightly, all of you said, there's fear, there's embarrassment regarding screening. So, uh, see, um, the ground reality is that uh, in our Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Hospital, if new patients are registered, we give some free coupons to the attendant. And we also educate them that uh, how it will help. And also uh, how the previous speaker has just discussed about that it should be a part of a medical fitness. So when you get a you know, medical uh, cover, then it should be mandatory that you get it done. Apart from that, if you uh, get it uh, done mandatory for some like government jobs or maybe some private jobs, then everyone is ready to do. But if that is not the case, then even if you give free of course, there are not many teachers. So the, again, the importance is the communication as Dr. Ankur Khal has rightly said that you have to discuss it out that this is nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, you should discuss it out with your family. That this is the test that which you are required to get it done. So after 50 years of age, we do not about, talk about guidelines. We do not, not talk about a lot of things. Clear minimum is that you get a, a screening for cervical cancer. That is simply a pap smear. And mammogram is nothing, just an X-ray of the breast. So that is the bare minimum which we can do and that will have a big impact because in female patients, these are the major two culprits if we talk about cancer. Well, thank you all so much, doctors, for joining us today. It's really quite simple. Cancer screening can save lives. Cancer caught early can be cured.
it is very important for each one of us to be as aware of the need for cancer screening as we are of any other health test that we get done regularly. Now, genetics is not the only factor. Many other risks are now contributing to the rise in cancer cases in India. And it is early screening that will help control the situation before it assumes epidemic proportions. You're watching India Health Mission. Thank you so much for being with us.